G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome to Man Cave Tuesday. Hope you all had a ripper week. I've got a bloke down here. There's Ray. How you going guys? <laughs> so, what's going on in this video? We have Kyle and Phil come over on the DRZ400 and a DR650 on their way through to the Simpson. We have a look at their bikes and a bit of a chat with them. A bit more work in Nay's wood shop. Gordo comes around on his Himalayan and he's done some more DIY modifications. Good on you, Gordo! Chappie comes over with the XT660. He's got the Coyote Giant Loop. Alistair also comes over and we all help bloody set it up on the bike. And I tighten the chain on the DR650 because everybody commented about it. So I suppose you're wondering why bloody Ray's here. Well, Ray, Alistair and myself, we're heading to the Grampians tomorrow morning and you'll obviously see it on the video. Right out, where are we going? We're going somewhere, here you go. Right here guys, we've got a couple of visitors turn up. They're on their way out to the Australian Outback, the Simpson. So I've got Kyle and Phil. Phil's on a DR650 and Kyle's on the DRZ. I was gonna say 250, I don't know why. 400. 400. <laughs> <laughs> so, this right, so you're raising money for SIDS and kids. Yep. Uh, all the stickers up. Now, so let's, we'll do the DRZ400. I get in trouble for saying DR, what do you say, is it Z? DRZ for? DRZ. Yeah. I don't know, what is it? I, I don't know, it's whatever you want it to be, yeah, I suppose. Version, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, we've got a safari tank, what is that? Yeah, so thing? it's a 28 litre safari tank. Um, originally I was going to put a 17 on it, but then they give me that one for the same price as the 17, because apparently out of the factory it had little pimples in it. But oh, right. I can't see it. So I can't I'd, see it, yeah. Nah, so, yeah, I grabbed the 28. Cool. So you've had all the suspension done? or um, you, you wouldn't have to on it. No, nah, I didn't really have to. Took it to a fella and he just tightened it all up and everything was fine. Yep. Um, other than that, carby's been done. Oh, right. So the jet kit and just exhaust. And obviously changed the gearing. Oh, and what you were running, what'd you say? 1544. 15, yeah. And then obviously, yeah, just put all the... The and the bash plate. Auxiliary lights. Oh, yeah, got the little bloody yeah, tidy there. The and then, yeah, it was just the B&B luggage rack. Barrett pannier racks. Barrett side panniers. And then third gear. Dry bag on top. Oh, third gear, yeah. Yeah, so they were only $30. Right? Yeah, I know. They're good. They're getting pretty good now, aren't mm. they? Mm. The prices are dropping. Mm. Yeah. And obviously seat concept seats. Oh, right, yep. Water, just with homemade cushion on it. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. That, have, what did you make that out of? Um, it's like the office seats. They have them like to put on office chairs and they're just like a gel seat. We just cut them down. And yeah, that's, yeah, I reckon that'd work bloody yeah. sensational. Made that up. Mm. Yeah, cool. Right, eh, Phil? Right. The, the old DR650. That's it. Pretty much suspension upgrade done by moi, followed by your instructions. Oh, so right, yeah. it all holds up. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm blaming you. Yeah. <laughs> um, upgraded the seat to a Jill Street seat. That's a pro oh. cycle kit. So oh, that was yeah. put on to the... So you just buy the foam and the, the cover. Oh, and, and you, you put, put it on onto the, your... The, the base of yeah. the original seat. How did that work? Go pretty well? Yeah, yeah. Easy, yep. Nice and easy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 25 litre tank. Ace of this. Ace of, I, I don't know. I used to always say Acabus. Acabus. That, that'll but do. Ace of this. So that's expanded from a 25 to a 28.5 with oh, the capacity. Right. Yep. Uh, Oh yeah, you got one of those Screen. screens. Um, changed the front guard because she was a oh, bit droopy. Yeah. So I've put a smaller guard on. Yep. Uh, bash plate. Um, B &B. Oh, case so that's, savers. A, that's quite a tall one, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's a high. Uh, rear suspension's been upgraded. Gearing's 1544. Yep. Sprockets. Uh, 
tank. I've got the um, the dash from oh. Adventure Bikes. Australia. Yeah, Dave had had that too. I yeah. like, really like that. Yeah, it's neat and tidy. It's out of the way. Yeah. So uh, you'd have Barrett. Barrett racks. Racks. Barrett panniers. I started off with the Nelson rig, Nelson rig bags. Yeah. But the the buckles were a um, uh, little bit soft. Yeah. Yeah. So I hit hit a tree, or dragged it up against a tree, and one of the buckle buckles broke. Oh right. But um, the guy um, who's the agent for him in Australia replaced them at no charge and give me some extras. Oh so, sweet. Yeah. You know, really really good. Yeah. That's good service. Small, aren't they? Yeah, they it's yeah. Not the, as deep as the all white as them ones. Yeah. Oh right, so you changed it because they were yeah, yeah. not the right size yeah. for you. Yeah, good yeah. bags, but yeah, they just they sort of tapered. <coughs> they're not like them where they're wide and they didn't have straps to strap it in. So yeah, to, to sort of make it tight. Yep. Oh, what's this? Um, that's a Delavic Delavic can. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I took the baffle out, and it was extremely loud. And yeah. It's still extremely loud with the baffle in. Oh, right. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> People can hear me coming. Oh, and the tool, your design. Oh, yeah, off. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, and you've got the tidy. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. probably something I'll look at doing. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And the little red cans, they're um, little uh, 1.5 yeah, litre 1 .5 fuel, cans. fuel cans. Wow, 1.5, yeah. Yeah, from China. Chinna. <laughs> I love Chinna. Oh, and you've got them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, plus we got the 12 litre fuel bladder yeah. in there. In there. To go on top. Yeah. To there. yeah. Um, I was going to go with the spot tracker, but I ended up just with the. Yeah, that's what I run now. Yeah. 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 Is that PLB? Yeah. And then the sat phone is in mobile. And you got a sat phone, yeah. yeah cool. Phone. Yeah. Ah, oh, see, you're sweet. Yep. Right, eh? So, you want to know where, where they're going, what they're bloody doing? Let's find out. Right, eh? So, what are we doing? Going to right, you're going to do the Simpson, cross the we Simpson, are. basically, yep. the French oh, line. Hopefully, cross it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, how long are you just planning on doing it? Go on. Um, we've got three weeks. We've given ourselves three weeks. So, we've got the only deadline we've got is to be back at the Spirit of Tasmania on the 24th. Yes, because they're from Tasmania. So yes. Yeah. So we've got allowed ourselves maximum four days in the desert. Yep. We want to try and do it in three if we can. So that's but going. That's going from. So that's going down from Mount, Mount, yeah, Mount yeah, Dare. Mount Dare to Bowser awesome. Birdsville. Yeah. All things going all right. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, undecided on what sort of track we're going to take, depending on how many cars. If it's been chewed up, whether we take the French line or. Yeah, I suppose. We yeah, we'll go down on the rig line. Oh, we don't know. Apparently, the Warburton has been closed again. Has it? Just been oh. closed. Okay. Which was the out that me and Ken, yeah. well, that I took, <laughs> forced him to do. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. no, that so, only just opened. Yeah, so there's a bit of a detour there. Yeah, so we've got an 80k detour because the Air Creek's flooded. Oh, so once right. you get to Air Creek, you've got to go 40k's up, yep. cross a shallow part, and then come 40k's back. So, depending, hopefully we'll enough fuel for that as well. Yes, yeah. yeah. About three days. And, yeah. 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 So we're not we're not going to push ourselves. We're not going to do anything we're not comfortable with. So yeah. Yeah, we'll just cruise along. Like I'm near sixty. So, yeah. <laughs> and I can out out outright in. <laughs> yeah. I've heard the stories. No, he can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate saying. That's yeah. why we're doing the Simpson Desert. Yeah. yeah. Bucket list. Plus, raising money for seeds. Yeah, yeah, good, good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Now you're saying on the way up from Melbourne, I think you, you worked out both bikes are running pretty much the same yeah, yeah. fuel yeah. mileage. Yeah, yeah. Fuel. yeah. So from Tassie to from Hobart to Devonport was 170 k's. Yeah. And we both used what did we say? Uh, 15, 15 litres, I think it was. Yeah. 15.6 yeah, litres or something. Yeah, yeah so both years the same. Exactly yeah. the same, yeah, 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 two different bikes, but yeah, exactly the same fuel. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah which I wasn't expected. I, I thought I'd use more, obviously, because I was a 400, not a 650. Yeah, but I yeah, and you, could you have geared it differently? Yeah, too, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. jetting, and so it's breathing oh, a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. we reckon that's got a lot to do with it. 
So mine's all standard. I haven't changed anything carby wise. No, you're the same That's, as me. Yeah. yeah. I haven't cut the box. I haven't done anything. Yeah. yeah. Change yeah. the air filter, put a new one in. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So they've been doing this, working this one out for three. They've had three years of entertainment. Yeah. Right, that buddy. And yeah. that's getting the bikes, getting all the camping gear, working yeah. out where you're going, what yeah. you're yeah. doing. Yeah, so yes. yeah, as I said, we started off with all the gear before we had the bikes. <laughs> Went from swags to tents to yeah. everything. And yeah. Brought the bags and realised that's not going to fit, so we had to basically start all over again and yeah. got to where we are now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Working pro, and it's been enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. Doing it together. And yeah, so you're his stepfather. No, father-in-law. Father-in-law. Stepfather. Father-in-law, <laughs> yeah. Father-in-law, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. and he's just had a young, a little baby. Yeah. Oh, right. Two weeks ago. Yeah, so two weeks. weeks ago. Yes. Yeah. How's the missus like you pissing off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was all right. She yeah. was good. Like obviously for a good cause. So. Yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah. Too. Back at home, supporting, mm. yeah. getting updates on the page. So, so, do you guys? Do you have a? Is there an online? Well, we've got a Facebook page. Yeah. So it's just two goons adventures. Yep. Goons ourselves, so you know, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, if anyone wants to follow, see what we're doing, just jump on there. And there's also a GoFundMe page link on there, yeah, to obviously donate to Sids and Kids. Um, cool. So, I should be whacking this up here and have links in the description <laughs> to it, yeah. 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 So, there, if people want to follow us, yeah, it's just two Goons Adventures, and yeah, that's see the what... only problem that I have with because I'm not on Facebook mm, anymore. Yeah. And when you go to get on it, you get this thing flashing up, yeah. and it's really hard to see shit. Yeah. yeah, I will apologise in advance to the viewers. <laughs> yeah, there is a little bit of swearing from me <laughs> in a little clip that lasts twenty five seconds. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how many times you can say the f word in yeah. twenty five seconds? But it's a lot. Oh, that, well, I must watch it. That sounds like it might be a good yeah. bit of video. It is. A, it, it is a laugh. Yeah, it is a laugh. But that was that you going up the? Yeah, yeah, yeah that was right. Come out of the sand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, with all our gear on, just testing out how it was going to go. Yeah. Yeah. But we were warned before we went up to Perrin Sands that it's the softest sand that anyone has ever ridden. Yeah, right. And um, it, it is. It I is. I can testify to that. <laughs> but he took, he's never ridden on sand before, and he took to it like a duck. Oh, really? Yeah. Now I've Unbelievable. Yeah, no Isn't that funny how that works? Yeah. No. yeah, that's where the first time in the sand, and I thought it was easy. <laughs> I don't know all the commotion was about. <laughs> that's, that's what I was doing. Yeah. No, it was yeah, good. right. Yeah. Yeah. And Great. it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you as well. Ah, yeah. No worries. Thank you. No problem. All right, well, there you go. I think that's, we've covered all the bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Righto, guys, as per usual, back to the man cave. <laughs> Did you get that? I think I did. Delete it. <laughs> See you, Mark. See ya. Oh, what's Nay up to in the wood shop? Let's have a look. It's bloody cold, guys, but uh, we're working up a sweat, I swear to God. There she is. Hello. Look at all that insulation work. No, it's lovely, isn't it? Now let's not pretend I've done a little tiny piece, you've done a lot. Oh, you've done your fair share, bitch. So this is all the leftover stuff from the house. So we managed, we're gonna, we've still got that much left there. So we're gonna fill it. Then we've got a whole heap of this stuff here that we'll cut and fill in all these uh, gaps as much as we can. We've got the, uh, that silver, this bloody, we've lined that silver stuff along there. You can see the blue. So I think it's gonna be toasty bloody warm. It's already toasty warm. I know, I had that going, we had to turn it off. Bloody hell. Yeah, so, that'll be heaps, that's gonna fill it all. Yeah, I reckon. So, Nays, we did a whole heap of chipping of the render and paint 
only to a certain because there's going to be all um, that's going to be covered by benches. So the three pillars they will be left exposed. Yep. Uh, the in between walls will be the plywood which we've already got. We're going to use OSB board for the top, which we'll show you this later. Um, we went with the ironstone grey. And see, this wall here is not going to have anything on it. And we painted it, but it's too bloody dark, isn't it, Nay? Yeah, I mean, it's getting brighter as we... Because obviously the ceiling the was very dark. Black, and there was yeah. Nothing there. But, no, we're going to leave the pillars dark, but we will paint the wall. The wall will be... the Shale grey. Shale grey, that's it. So all the pillars will be the dark colours. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm sure we'll make it look all That'd right. That'd be fabulous. It'll be covered <laughs> in sawdust in no time. Yeah, well, that's it. Rightio guys, so this stage is done, and I'll tell you what, crazy, we had two bags of this, um... Pink bats. That's it, pink bats. <laughs> <laughs> um, left over from the roof, or the ceiling in the house. And the two bats, we've got nothing left that no, perfectly... and filled all the gaps. And all the gaps are all filled. So all the, all the bits there, we just cut the bats, the leftover bats into three, and it perfectly filled it, amazing. Sometimes shit just happens. Go on, tell them what the dog did. Oh. <laughs> As a warning to others. Yeah, yeah, you know what Pookie's like, she grabs her bed and she rips it apart and pulls all the stuffing out. She was barking and so we let her in here and the next minute we look around and here she is, getting into the glass bats, chewing it. Yeah, she only had a little tiny chew, but then... Yeah, yeah so we got her, got her the hell out of here. Just keep the dogs away from it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. Alright, cool. You're a bloody troublemaker, aren't you? Look at the mess. Did you see the mess? You really don't care, do you? Alrighty, hey guys. Matt's just gonna... This is a bit of a sneak peek. An MCT. Is that blurry? I don't know if that's blurry. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks so cool. That number plate on that side. guys I'll give you an update on what we're bloody up to in this shed I've got some uh, trim stuff that we've painted hello hello it's <laughs> lurking in the yard yep <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh okay you haven't got oh, geez, we shut, oh, the, yeah. we shut the door and everything for them here we go guys there's a bit of an echo in here so we now have the ceiling all done in that OSB so that's the OSB stuff it's cheaper, but what did we work out, eh? It was, with the ply and the OSB, they're identical, aren't they? Yeah. Pretty much, from what we've read. Yeah. It's just, the OSB is way cheaper. It's way, way cheaper. And I think we, Americans, 70% of the building industry uses OSB over... Yeah, for bracing and yeah. stuff. Or for, yeah. Anyway, so that's, we've got that bloody done. These are all in and done, so that's what it's going to look like. We'll obviously have the trim that's going to go all the way around. It's got to be put up. Stop, but there we go. And we're just finishing up on this side. So that's all the studs and battens and whatever bloody shit that goes in behind there. Done deal, baby. That's it. And did they see that we changed the colour of the Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, so this was... That colour there was everywhere, and now it's gone to the shack. So that's making a whole heap. Yeah, it's better. Everything's getting brighter. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, and you don't think you're going to paint that? I wouldn't. 
I'm, I, think... I like the ceiling the way it is. Yeah. yeah. There's my, there's, there's the stuff up. <laughs> I did the writing and I thought, oh, bugger. I like it. Yeah. See? A little bit indulgent. You're not high maintenance at all, are you? No. <laughs> I don't think I'm high maintenance. Righty, so there you go. That's that's what we're up to. This thing has been, well, I'm saying kicking my ass. It's, it hasn't. No, it's, it hasn't. You were unrealistic about your timing. Yes. You thought but, it was going to be an easier job than it was. And yeah. Like if you show them all this. Yeah. The, the, all the wonkies have to, just doing those. Just to try and make it a better fit. To match it all, yeah. It takes a bit of time. Yeah, that was big. And that's. The side ones are not too bad, but, but yeah, you still got one, to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them had to be trimmed. Yeah. All right, that's it. Coffee and chocolate. Hell yes. <laughs> right, yeah, guys. Gordo's dropped round for a uh, coffee. You haven't gone to Rushworth yet, have you? I went through it there on the way. Oh, right, cool. I'll go on one. Yeah. Anyway, he's dropped by and He's showing me some of the bloody modifications. So if you remember the uh, bike talk that we did with the Esky stuff, oh, I mean, there's so much on this bike. He's now added the Eskies, because before you had the, the saddlebags, yeah. the cheap saddlebags. Yeah. But that really looks, buddy, that ties in really well. So he's got two of those on. And what did you, where'd you get these and how much? I got the, these are Bunnings one again. Yep. And they were $18.95 each. <laughs> so cheap, cheap, and they're basically water, water line. Yeah, yeah. Lines. Yep. So well, they cool. actually look better than the, the saddlebags. Oh, yeah, way better. Yeah, yeah it ties in with everything. Yeah. You fit your 1.25 litre bowls, you or two in each one. Yep. So that one. Then you've got these bloody little these bags. Little they're ones. pretty cool with the extra bit on there. Yeah, because I've got the two stubby 1.25 litres. I was getting use of fuel. Yep. So I'll have two and a half litres of spare fuel I can put in. Yeah. So yep. then that's going to be drinks and whatever. and that's... Bloody bits and pieces to go in there. Yep. And then check this out. So you remember the uh, the old suitcase on the on the back? And we had this bloody out here. Yep. So he's now got these chopping boards which are Velcroed on. Yep. You've got another one that's going to go there, but you're still yeah. working that bit out. Yeah. And then he's got this thing that pops out the side i got my kitchen almost. And so then they're supported by these these things. So what did you say they were? So these are your, your, your summer little tent tent things. I went to go buy one of these from Anaconda. It's like tw 20 bucks for one. So the bugger I went to the Kmart again and bought your whole tent with a whole bunch of these I can chop up for 15 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's crazy yeah. and you've gotten rid of your little uh what was it the lacquer bands on there yeah. that's got rid of those yeah so i like i like that that's really yeah. cool yeah just basically you know, two sec seconds just got it undone yeah um, oh and that's the yeah pull that seat out yeah i got got me me chief uh, as in what's it ah. so it's like the halinox but yeah. way way cheaper so it was 109 dollars I was looking at them, but I didn't want to spend them much. Anaconda actually had a um, special on, it was $59 instead, half price. Yeah, man, that's crazy. So, of course. so the only real difference um, is that they just don't, oh, that's actually pretty solid, that one. Uh, yeah, so it was pretty priceless. I think the only real difference is the um, the weight carrying capacity. Yeah, they, they, these will, will be a bit heavy, but. Yeah, someone fun. like Alistair, and he's already broken too. Yeah. Of the cheap version ones. Yeah, so. Yeah. Then she just slips over the top. I haven't had much of a chance to use it yet, so I'll get that and. Yeah. Me, um... Crazy. Got the little Stanley pot. Bloody great stuff. Try this. Oh, and that's yeah. right, you were showing too that. Because all this stuff here is close to the exhaust, and he's got the, uh, what was that, the fire blanket stuff. He has developed, if we can get in there, I don't know if you can see that. A little bump. A couple of bumps where it's just started to, yeah, melt a little bit. Come on, Gordo, what are you doing, mate? Add it, add it back to front. <laughs> <laughs> it's always harder when you're under pressure. That'll work better. 
get it. One more, one more. Yeah. And when they're brand new, they're yes. a little bit bloody extra stiff. Yeah. So that's... Done. Right, eh? Yep. There she goes. That's it. Hoppa! Hey? That's the life. Oh, just grab me well. beer off. Grab me beer off the bloody. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Why'd you get the beer out the esky? Well, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, uh, water, water on a Thursday night. Well, um, throw some ideas around. Boom. Yeah. A couple of two bucks chopping boards. Or you know, on there, then make your sandwiches and yeah, that's it. And cold yeah, see, you, and yeah, yes. I mean, yes, see, you can just bloody go wherever yeah. for however long. So, and you've done it so it? cheap. Yeah. More money for the petrol. That's right, and I, I did splurge yet and buy some decent pants. Or oh yeah. This this is still my old one from what 20, 20 years ago. The the old dry rider. Yeah. But the old pants were, didn't quite fit and. Well, the old leathers, they no one them fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, guys. That's uh, Gordo's bloody continuing mucking around DIY yep. on the cheap. Love yep. it. Yeah. We're going to go and uh, have a cuppa, and we'll talk some shit. Cool. Back to the man cave. Right, yeah, guys. So uh, tomorrow I'm taking off for the Grampians, and last week when I fitted this um, chain guard to Max, Quite a few of you blokes said, hey, Mark, I think your chain's a bit loose. And yes, it is, so I've got to fix it. Now, I'm pretty bloody lucky. I've got uh, you guys keeping an eye on me, telling me when my bloody uh, chain is loose. So what I'm going to do is I'll use my little uh, prop thing that I'll put under the other side to lift it up so then I can, you know, you know what I'm saying. Right, what do we got? That's me rear 19 mil. The problem with having a well-packed toolbox with everything you could want, well, just about, is you've got to pull everything out to get to shit. And then, of course, you've got to put it all back. Right, first job, loosen off that. Now, while we're over here, so that is my adjustment. So all I've got, whoops, where are we? There we are. All I've got left is that little section there, and then I run out of adjustment as this chain stretches. I've gone through all that. Now, when I put this new chain on, I should have removed a link or another link. I should have had one less link in there because obviously new change the, the chains they stretch well they continue to stretch i suppose but um i should be able to get just enough out of this and then most probably the next time i'm going to then have to take a link out of that chain to then bring it back so i can get more adjustment out of it right righto let's see if we can oh, that's not going to bloody do it there we go i reckon no damn it That should do it. So, uh, the whole idea of this exercise is to bring that back. What I might do is I might go for the, I'll go for the very last one. I do the same thing on. Jeez. No, that's gonna to be too much. Damn it. Always the way, guys. I'm only trying to do something quick. I've got um, Chappie coming over with his um, XT with the giant loop bag that we're gonna to fit to it. We're gonna have Alistair come, but apparently he's on top of Mount Alistair, uh, Mount Alexander. That's a bit gritty, isn't it? Find a hole, there it is. That'll get me a bit more height. 
cool. Much better. It's one back from six. And that's got to go to there. Oh. So that will live there. I think is what I've got on the other side. What does that feel like? All right, I reckon. I actually didn't need much, much of adjustment. When you um, got it up like that, and you check your, you don't do it to exactly what it should be. You have a little bit less loose because then when you drop it down onto the tire, that will actually stretch the out a little bit. The first time you do it, you work that out. All right, I'm going to turn this off. Get this bloody job done and uh, come back to you. Right, yeah, so we got our six mark on there. Same deal on that one there. Oh, this is what the chain say that would be too loose. But now I'll tighten this up, drop it down, and then see what it's like after that. And hopefully, you will see a difference that it'll actually tighten up a bit. Righto. Righto, let's have a look. Oh, it's still too bloody loose. Well, there you go. Right. Yeah, it's still too loose. I've got to go further. I'm now getting the job done. No more filming, Mark. You got it? <laughs> right, I just had to go one notch past where I was, and that is bloody good. Right here guys, so we've got Chappie here with the XT660. We've got the man who knows all about giant loop. <laughs> <laughs> giant loop fanboy, yeah. So here it is, Chappie's got the new one. So this is the, the Coyote, not the Great Basin. Is that right? Yeah. The roll top. Yeah. Roll roll top. Start talking Alistair, you, you know your shit. Um, so you've got the Great Basin. I've got the Great Basin, which is a bit bigger. Yep. Um, but these, I reckon, if you can if you can pack all your gear in that, yep, it's better. The Coyote is better. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And the Diablo tank bag. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so all right. So we're doing that as well. Bloody brilliant. Right, I put your bloody coffee down and get to work. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, what I was going to suggest, you were asking about these these handles. Yep. Do you ever take a pillion? I leave me my son every now and then. Yeah. Um, you might find that it's easier just to take them off. Yep. Um, because it is a bit wide here. Yep. Oh, to fit to fit that. Yeah. Oh. But um, yeah, we'll chuck it on and see if see it's what happens. Work, but yep. Yeah. Right. So Alistair was just saying he was talking about removing these, and we've just whacked this on there. And as you can see, with those grab rails, it makes it just to wide is that a consensus we're going to take them off yep brilliant right yeah guys so grab rails are off alice is going to whack that on we've also taken the gear out of the bag alice is, yeah look at that perfect yeah yeah that's better isn't it way better so when you saw that um, no. look chappy you got a beaver tail <laughs> I can put that around the front, I can sit on it and wrap it around. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you, if you jump on it, yeah. look, look, look how far forward you can actually have it. So you could probably have it easily there. It's not going to interfere with your legs or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, heaps of movement. And that's, so that's going to give you that much room to put that thing across there. And it'll attach to this anyway. So oh, sweet. Rack. Don't even need a rack. So you don't reckon? Well, you can get one if you want. Yeah. Depends on how. Yeah. Right, yeah, guys. Well, these guys are mucking around. I'll just give you as an update. Oh, Jesus. So we took those grab rails off. We put the bolts back in and some washers to pack it out. I can't really bloody see. I'm talking shit, guys. What's new? Oh, there it is there. That's it. Yeah, what's new? Good on you. <laughs> so that's going to lock down on there for the back. And then around the front, 
We've got these straps that are going to go around there on that side. Are these, is this going to be the only part that holds it on, the back and the front? That's it? Yep. So now on the inside, that's where they're tightening up for those back strap bits. And if you understood that, you're a better man than me. With the extra excess um, strapping, they've got these these things. Here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I so said just lift it back up. Yeah, you can just do it like that. You can do it tight if you want. Yeah. Put that up the back there so it grabs on like it should. That thing you're talking about? Yeah, you can just yeah. Like that. And pull this tight. Yep. Beautiful. Cool. Is it in here? There it is. So that's, what do you call that? Tensioning, tension, that tensions these straps here, which is hooked on there. Yeah. So if your shit falls off on the ramble, blame him. <laughs> now, if you had a rear rack, what you would do as well, with these ones, that's what you would attach um, that 17 litre bag yep. in there. But with what I would do with these, if you've got a rear rack, is feed them through the rear rack as well, which secures it at another couple of points. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 Um, but, hmm. Cool, Bananas, you happy with that, Chappie? Yeah. Should yeah. chuck some gear in it and see what it looks like. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's it. Oh, look at that, I just noticed something. Look at that cool looking bike. Hey, good old Max. <laughs> what are you gonna get a giant loop back, huh? No. I think they're slowly converting. I'm a Wolfman man. <laughs> um, yeah. Even the like the Barrett bags. The rig, yeah. rig ones. Yep. They're all they're all getting cheap ones, and they're all this, you know, pretty comparable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've run both now. I've got a Wolfman tank bag. Yep. And then a Giant Loop rear bag, but I'm rocking for tomorrow. I'm rocking the uh, Wolfman uh, tank panniers. Ah. Yeah, tank thought, panniers. Yeah, I thought ah. I'd chuck them on as well. Um, because it's winter and we need more warm stuff. Yeah. 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 Thought, Why not? There you go, on there, Chappy. <laughs> there, it's, it takes a bit of a. Got to do a bit of working this out. I'll turn the I'll turn the video off. Take the pressure off you. <laughs> you know what I what I do. Yeah. The complete opposite of what you've done, no doubt. Yeah. Well, it's, this is just how I do it, right? Yeah. So I get my tent, for example. I stuff my tent in, um, just all in one side. Yeah. Without the tent bag, I just stuff it in. Yeah. Right. And then um, on the other side, I get all my food and shit and I stuff that in the other side. And all the stuff that's odd shaped kind of goes on top of that and then across the... Yeah. 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 And you'll nut it out as you'll you go, it you'll out. figure it out as you go along. Yeah. Yeah, well, what I've got works the best. there at the minute and I just thought... Yeah, huh? it's better. And it's probably a bit stiff too, is it? Being yeah. Yeah. Maybe not. Right, oh, Chappy, quick, jump on it. Oh, so what happens to the uh, the little beaver tail? Yeah, that goes up there, and then... Oh, right. Attach. I don't know what it is, but I find the beaver tail am amusing. You just like the beaver tail, don't you, Mark? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right, hey, jump on. Then we've got to get that tank bag done. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Looking. Yeah, heaps. Beautiful. You'd be able to put your bloody legs up on the on the handlebars and lean back. That's like a yeah. that's like a lounge chair. Yeah. I've done it a bit tight this side, have I? Oh no, it's you because of the way you pack and everything. Uh, you figure it out. You've got yeah. to just. My advice is instead of having big bags and putting them in, it's just smaller stuff and yeah. stuff in all little crevices, and you'll just build it all up so it's nice yeah. and even. Because at the moment you've got this big ass bag at the top here, and then you've got lots of space in here. Yep. But you'll figure it out. So well, you don't use your yellow bags at all, hardly? Oh, uh, sometimes. They're pretty shit, actually. Yep. Um, they're not really waterproof. Yep. Um, but they're supposed to be, aren't they? That's the whole idea of them. This, that's the one area. See? See? You should have went with the Wolfman. 
The Wolfman. <laughs> Stop with me. No. Get in there, Chubby. Don't don't worry about me, man. Yeah. Something like that. That's with like three liters of water. And, you know, and you just decide where you want to put these. So yeah. this one is wood. Uh, so yeah. simply got the strap going oh, underneath no. there. So. I think my yeah, that's how about this like works. a 24 So you take this off. Yeah. Um, and if I this is really good because oh, if you've got that's your, pretty cool. your wallet and your phone and everything in here. Oh, you look just at take that. that. You know, you're going to the pub or something, take that with you. Yeah. And then you've got access to your... Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. To that. Cool. Yeah, belt, that's pretty cool. That's so what have they done? I think, right, that's the main oh, thing. Oh, okay. Making sure that you invest in the right, in the right gear and that. Yeah. You know, I like with... So where do you, where do you want to run it? Um, yeah, where do you reckon to there or? Just yeah, I reckon just to, right. to there. Yep. Um, just wrap it yeah, under the uh, bash plate. Yeah. Roll it underneath. Yeah. 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 yeah bash well, plate. Oh, my helper, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this little gap here is designed for the motorbox. It's got the fuel hose. Stops oh, it from oh, oh right, yeah, yeah. Bending it over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Good. Yeah, so over here you just feed that through. Yep. Even their zips are better quality now. I'm impressed with this. That's just the good quality stuff, Mark. Good quality zips. Good quality. <laughs> no, I must admit, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, I, mean, I like that. That's for the price, though. What's that cost? Three hundred and <gasps> <laughs> Chappy, <laughs> but um, you can do this a good to, bit of kit. Yeah, yeah. You can do this to fuel up. Yeah, that's that's, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, now you got to jump on it again with all this shit on. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's all right then. Yeah. So if you do your stand up, so you'll obviously you'll feel it. Because yeah. well, I do with the enduro yeah. one. So, yeah, so. <laughs> good yeah, motion, mate. Like <laughs> Pump that tank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're done. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Well, that was easy having, yeah, with you knowing what you're doing. Yeah. Um, Alistair. You got to bring this. This is what I noticed. Hair net, face Hair. net. Oh, is it? I've got um. I keep one of them in my tank bag too, yeah. actually. Not as fancy as that one. <laughs> yep. But um, it's really I remember the little desert one time. In oh, I remember you telling me. I was that exhausted. I was on yeah. my own. I thought I was dying, and the flies just wouldn't leave me alone. It was, it was yep. torture. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, there you go, guys. So that is Chappy all organised. So obviously, you'll just refine and do whatever bits yep. and pieces as you go along. And we'll just saying that the Jeep will pick up the bits and pieces that fall off when he's on the ramble. Right, eh? back to the man cave. Well, there you go, guys. That's Man Cave Tuesday done and dusted. Hope you all enjoyed it. Now, obviously, hopefully I'll have the, the trip that uh, Ray, Alistair, and myself are doing out at the Grampians later in the week. Um, I think that's it, guys. Remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.